guys, James here today, and I just wanted to let you guys know that EA recently announced a new world for The Sims. It's pretty freaking sweet. It's called Roaring Heights, and it's like um, a 50s inspired Art Deco world. It's really freaking cool. I've got a bunch of screenshots here to show you. Uh, sorry, they're they're a little low resolution, but that's because that's what we got sent. So, as you can see here, we got a beautiful sort of oh, look at that. I love. I just love the look of the town. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So you can see sort of like a stadium down there, a nice bridge out the front, obviously lots of beach area. Uh, if we go to the next screenshot over here, we got this guy working on his car. Uh, so this this is one of the things that comes with it, actually. One of the bullet points on it is, um, sorry if I just pulled it up. Uh, the Sims will set out to explore this bustling beachside scene by way of their fixer-upper car. Your Sims can spend some time fixing up this brand new gameplay object to get in it into pristine shape. So basically, this car is kind of like, if you remember the Sims 2 free time, they had that sort of muscle car that you could fix up. I assume that's kind of along the same vein here, so your Sims will work on the car. and So it'll be cheap to buy, but it obviously won't work. Then you'll fix it up, and then you can drive it around and you'll probably sell it. So it's kind of a way to sort of make money as well by fixing up cars along, along the way, which is really cool. Uh, so if we move on here, we've got a nice uh, sort of overview of the entire sort of city center, I guess, if you will. And it just looks so... Awesome. That, that it just looks really cool. I love that screenshot there. Uh, moving on, we got one here of this little street area here with a lot, a lot of little sort of like apartment block looking type houses. Um, don't know. I, I get they're probably not actual apartments, but they look like kind of little apartment uh, inspired houses and and places to live. Uh, got an awesome sort of archway here to the diner, the cl classic. This is where the fifties diner in The Sims Three actually fits in. It actually fits into this neighborhood, and it looks freaking sweet. Um, Oh, so moving on. Yeah, this one here as well. I assume this is a house. I mean, I'm not really sure. No, I guess it's probably more of a cafe type thing considering it has all those seats everywhere. Yeah, and it has a, there's a board out the front. I jumped the gun on that one, but yeah, that, that's a really cool thing. Got that kind of curved wall piece there. I guess is that... Is it's not a rabbit hole, though. I guess it's just um, it's probably a building object that they've just placed down and built inside of it, which they seem to be doing more so recently. Um, but that looks pretty damn cool. Uh, got a couple of Sims here on the beach in their sort of 50s clothing and their new hairstyle there. Um, at the, and then obviously the new buildings and stuff in the background look really cool. And you got this woman here standing in front. So this is actually looking the other way. So you remember they got that archway there. So the, she's facing towards the diner from before. And we're looking out behind, so you can see straight down the street. That's probably the town hall up ahead, I would assume, considering it's like sort of centralized in there quite nicely. And here's one of the houses, which looks really cool. Look, they've, they've even got the windows going into the pool there, which looks really cool. How do they... I guess they must have done a bit of cheating to make that work, to be honest, because I don't think you can do that without cheats. But still, it looks really cool. That looks really awesome. Definitely Art Deco right there. And two Sims sitting around a little campfire on the beach uh, with one of the buildings behind them. You, see, you can see they've got all those sort of neon lights everywhere that look really cool and really reflect the styling of it. Uh, but yeah, so I'll just read you through sort of the main points of it and... Um, and I guess we'll talk about it a bit. So, uh, welcome to Roaring Heights, a sparkling city nestled by the beach. In this all new digital world, so I assume they're not releasing it in stores because they keyworded digital there. Your Sims will experience an exuberant life amidst a city full of iconic Art Deco skyscrapers. Um, and then I read the next one already, which was about the fixer up a car. And then in the midst of Roaring Heights, breathtaking architecture, your Sims will rub elbows with lavish parties, taking in the tranquil beauty of the city by the sea. Uh, Sims may even come to befriend the Cap family from the Sims 2. They were on vacation in Roaring Heights and completely smitten with the beachside bliss of the town. So that, that's obviously where the Cap family went. Uh, if you don't know, in all, in all of the Sims 3 worlds in the store, they always have a family from the Sims 2 in it somewhere. And obviously the Cap family is the one in, uh, in this uh, world. Included in this world are dozens of all new exclusive objects, including... Um, Objects and clothing, sorry, I completely read that wrong. Uh, exclusive objects and clothing for your Sims to partake in the vibrant golden days of the Sims 3 Roaring Heights. Uh, the Sims 3 Roaring Heights will be available for digital download from the Sims 3 store starting at 7pm Australian Eastern Standard Daylight Time on Thursday, December 12th. So that would be December 11th, probably 9am PST. No, that doesn't make any sense. It'll probably be... I don't know. It'll be, it'll be December 11th in the US at some point. Uh, sorry, just mine's in Australian timing because the email I got is for me. Um, 
Yeah, but I'll, I'll put up the proper uh, Pacific time on the video so you guys know. Uh, the Century Roaring Heights will also be available as a standard and a gold edition. Uh, the Roaring Heights Gold Edition will include the New World in addition to 1900 sim points. Oh. Huh. That's nice. Um, boardwalk venue. Sim from all over the world. Uh, all over the world. All over come to the boardwalk just to ride the exhilarating attraction featuring the sky high roller coaster with pieces that can be assembled to make your very own amusement park. Now that sounds awesome. I can't wait to check that out. So it's kind of like, it's basically like a little roller coaster kind of thing. And they said you can construct it yourself. So I, I'm assuming it's come, something kind of like in uh, The Sims 1 Making Magic. They had little um, sort of amusement park lots. Where you could put the pieces down and join it together. I assume that's kind of what this is going to be. And it sounds freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much uh, the announcement for today. Uh, just keeping you guys informed. This world looks freaking sweet. So uh, I presume that until The Sims 4 comes out, we'll be getting, they'll be basically focusing on worlds and store content. So this is obviously the new world coming very soon. Actually, not too long away, is it? That is a uh, couple of weeks. Just over two weeks. Yeah, just over two weeks. Uh, <laughs> you can tell how prepared I am for this video. Anyways, that's it for this time, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.